Hi everybody, welcome back to Lovely Girly Bits. I'm back with the beauty video, finally, finally, I know, I know. And I know I missed um, May's monthly favourites, but Joanne's getting married and that whole last weekend of May was just a big mishmash of like tears and happiness and sadness and zombiness because we were all exhausted. Um, but we filmed um, some of the days, so I'll leave the link below for that if you would like to see the whole day in process. And yeah, it was a great day, brilliant day. But I'm not gonna waffle because I have a lot of things to show you today. Do you like my curly hair? This is like two day old hair. And I think I would do a tutorial to show you how I did this because it's really good, really like this. Could totally do this before work. Okay, let's start off with things. What will I start off with? Okay, I'm gonna start off with smelly things. Now, if you know me, I think for probably the past two summers, anytime it gets hot and sticky and clammy and muggy, I reach for this. This is my Narciso Rodriguez um, Essence Eau de Musk. Now there is an essence, um, and it smells slightly different, but this is Eau de Musk one, and it's just really clean and soapy, and if you're feeling like horrible and sweaty at work quick sploosh of this and you're sorted it just smells like you've had a shower and all is well in the world and you can go and greet people with hugs without them worrying oh my god smell of your one so I've really loved that and this is like a, a repurchase I have no never and Sean oh, sorry and my other favorite scent of the month was the Rituals Yin Organic White Lotus and Yi Yi Ren oh my god now in fairness this is um, a calming bed and body mask. I ain't wasting this on my bed, I tell you that. This smells like, well, Joanne's wedding to me because I wore this on the wedding day. I know I'm such a weirdo. I had like a particular scent that I wanted to smell like. So I knew I was gonna be running around like a lunatic, so I needed something that was gonna be clean and fresh and calming, and that's what this is. And this, oh, it's, I totally have to do it. It's in the face, in the face. <laughs> um, <coughs> it tastes nice. No, it just smells like clean again. I don't know. I'm when it in the summertime when it's really hot and sunny. I really do. I'm I gravitate towards the cleaner, soapier, fresher scents because I just hate feeling clammy. I hate I hate sweating. It just drives me mad. And um, this is gorgeous. You know I love the body butter of this as well. And I think I have something else of the scent. Do I? I don't know. Um, but I just. If you're in rituals and ironists, go smell this with your nose, and it's gorgeous. And it's the white lotus and yee yee ren. Hmm. <laughs> So we'll do a bit of tan, shall we? Yes. So you know that I'm not like a huge tanner and I really am trying to embrace the bronze this summer and I need to kind of start on baby steps, you know. So I thought, what better way with the Cocoa Brown Gentle Bronze? And it's one of those gradual tanners so you can lash it on and then you're not going to be like Mahogo at the end of like one application of this. Um, oh, it's so good. Like now, in fairness, put it on with the mist because if you put it on your hands, it will dry. And if you've any have like dry patches on my hands there, it will stick to it and you will not get it off. But apart from that, like when I put it on, which I don't have it on now, I just get the most gorgeous, natural, subtle glow. I look like me. I look like me after a couple of days in the sun. And it's such a natural colour and it lasts really well. And I wore this for Joanne's wedding. I did on my arms because my legs weren't going to be on show, so I just didn't bother even doing that. But um, for my arms, it was great. And I put on like two kind of quite thick layers and let it sink in. Like, oh, is that kind of sound like this? And it just works wonders and it's brilliant. And it's under six euros, so do it if you're a bit scared of the old hands give this a go but put it on with the mitt or with the glove or something do not put it from your hand onto your body otherwise i wash the hands trust me so may and june were kind of revelations in the whole makeup brush world for me anyway and i got to try out some um brush sets from two irish brands nema brush and pink avenue and these are the three brushes that were my favorite out of all them that i sent i leave the links below for the um i reviewed these guys with two others and then I reviewed this one with I think three others so I leave the link below for both reviews so basically I have to tell you something first of all I love this right the angle brush it is great for the L blush it is great for the L contour and this has a smaller barrel so it fits in my little makeup bag see oh in my mind it feels smaller than what it is and it's just it's really nice and soft and I love this and it washes really well and it just <laughs> Um, happy days and I love that and it's quite cheap I can't remember how much but I will leave the links below but um, that has been my favourite blush slash contour brush for um, the past couple of months and then these are my two favourite brushes from Nima Brush now do love the Algeo Fibre Brush and I've been kind of using this with um, a product that I'll be reviewing on the blog now I have it on as my base today and look how soft it is look how soft 
um, this is great if you want a really sheer finish um, with your foundation or your base product and you just buff it in and then and then or if you have a cream product if you stipple it into your cream blush um, and then you can stipple it onto your face and it just means that you're not too heavy-handed when it comes to products because you look like a crazy person if you have like loads of blush or, or bronzer on but this is great for foundation for liquid foundation for cream foundation for blushes bronzers it's lovely and I just want to do this all the time now I have to tell you you know that I am obsessed with the Real Techniques buffing brush right pretty much that was for since whenever they brought them out that was the brush that I used for my foundation until this I know this is like the domed kabuki brush I think that's what it's called but I'll leave the link below and I'm kind of stroking it weirdly sorry but basically this the bristles are slightly longer and they're more packed together and I think there's more of them as well so I've been using this for foundation and, oh and I have to t tell you about these another day but it just oh it just works the product into the skin so well it just buffs it in so quickly and it just does the work for you I'm always in a rush in the morning and I just need to go like throw it on and just like work it as I'm like doing something else and like trying to feed Bailey and do the and it's just it's amazing holy grail stuff and I prefer it over the real techniques buffing brush I know I know Um, I might actually do a review if you want to see would you be interested in like a side-by-side -side review of this compared to the real techniques buffing brush if so let me know in the comments below and I let you know and I just love it it's really really good use it for everything Let's do a bit of hair. Now I do have a video coming up on all of my current hair care favourites but I just needed to give this an L shout out. And this is the L'Oreal Wild Stylers yeah, um, by Techniart Beach Wave Spray. Now you know I love the L Beach sprays don't you? Yeah. Especially in the summer because my hobby in life is to get up and have a shower and then half the time I don't even put like conditioner in my hair. I know it's terrible. I don't care. And um, so I will go to work with wet hair. I know it's terrible. Don't tell my mum but it's okay in the summertime. That's fine. So I like to spray this all over the hair and if I kind of scrunch it dry it just gives like it gives beachy texture to your hair and kind of oh I just love it I love it I love it and it kind of came with this little leaflet now I have a blog post coming up on this as well with like um step-by-step -step pictures and it says to you spray it in your hair when it's wet and you kind of scrunch dry your hair like this I haven't scrunched dry my hair forever but anyway it kind of encourages the natural kinks in your hair to stay put where they're supposed to and you separate your hair into five different sections and it comes with like a little hair net I know totally Hilda Ogden and then you you let it dry and then when you take it down it's just like real effortless like beach waves I really like this and another thing that I like to do is if I've washed and blow dried my hair and I just need a little bit of something something I put this spray this all over the hair and then I kind of pile it into like a loose bun right on the top of my head and then when you take it down it's real like like that the sounds of the sea your hair will make but and oh oh also I love this it's a lock so that's like oh I'm not going to spray it but it's a lock to stop you from spraying it by mistake which I would do if I okay let's do lips shall we so unless you've been hiding under a rock you will know that NYX has come to Ireland finally <laughs> I know and it's still really hard to um to get there is a chemist in Santry that's the only one that I know of on the north side that has it and it's up in the Northwood business park it's a great little pharmacy for all the new stuff that comes out but um hopefully i have a list of um stockists and i'll leave the link below and hopefully they're going to add more to that because people have been like clamoring to get this and i just you know me and i love the lip butters Ooh, I, just love them. I have six in my collection but these are four that i had to hand i just i love them all they're always i think these are the four that i pulled out of my handbag because i like to have them all together with me just for options you know you just need options and um, had tiramisu for ages I bought this one last year I think and um it's just it's the perfect I think I'm wearing it now I'm wearing it now I am and it's really really nice and you know me and I love this is cherry cheesecake even though it doesn't look nothing like no cherries and then this is strawberry no this is peaches and cream love it and then this is apple strudel and they're just they feel so nice on the lips for someone who suffers with dry lips all the time it's me and um, I just like to be able to lash something on without having to look in the mirror and then you can just go mm -hmm -hmm. and it feels nice it feels moisturizing on the lip lips and they last like for lip glasses they last grand like a couple hours happy days and I think they're only 5 99 I think I think I think but just love butter glasses because like I don't know at work I don't like wearing anything too pigmented because otherwise people would be going what's wrong with your face 
so I just feel more comfortable myself with the sheer things that can lash on and I don't care if it goes up my face because um yeah I know but I'm just like mauling them an awful lot but I just love them the butter glosses I can't wait for more NYX stuff to come out because it is so exciting and I have a mascara on right now that is theirs that I'll tell you about I have a blog post coming up on that but I just love it another lip favorite is this one this was I bought this when I was with um, shopping with Orla for Makeup Over Mind and the two of us bought patisserie because we love Lily Pebbles and Vivian does makeup and they've been talking about it for ages and this was just before Joanne's wedding and I was like well I need a nude a new nude new nude um, and so I just got patisserie and it's fabulous hold on it is just it, I think it's like one of the most perfect peachy neutral nudey shades it gives really natural like nude lips it's perfect you can slash it on I kept it in my handbag on the day of the wedding and I just kept lashing it on myself and then if Joanne if I didn't have her one I just but patisserie I think it's like one of those staples that you should have and I hadn't bought a matte lipstick in ages so I didn't even know how much they were so I got this one and I got syrup like I gave that to Joanne for um, her makeup for the wedding day and I really wanted peach blossom on him but no, I'm on a spending man, so don't let me get it, okay? But um, patisserie, love it. One last lip product, and this technically isn't a favourite, but it is because it is. I only got this, mm, was it last week? Last week or the week before, and it's one of the um, Max Factor Colour Elixir glasses. Oh, and this is Enchanting Coral, isn't it? Yes. Do you know what? I knew I was going to love it, like, before I even tried it on, because you know me, my Carls. I love it. I wore it, um, hold on, where we go? There. Look, isn't it gorgeous? The answer is yes, Karen. Yes, it is. Oh, out of like all six, just put it like that. So it's that one there. So out of the six that I was sent, this is my favorite one. This is the one that's going to sell out, guaranteed. And I'll show you them all in a blog post coming up. But this is the star of the show, Enchanting Coral. Love it. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mascara. Um. So you know that I love the bourgeois mascaras. I do. I love it. This is the volume one second mascara, and this is the waterproof version, a la blue here. And I have both of these. I think I was given the regular version at a press launch and then I went and I bought this because first of all I needed waterproof mascara for Joanne's wedding because of all the tears that were going to fall out of her eyeballs. This doesn't budge. It doesn't budge. It doesn't flake. You can like have a shower. You can go out into the rain. It doesn't matter. Like it's perfect for festivals if you want to have eyelashes that are black for the whole day <laughs> and to stay put. Um, oh, I just love it. I have a blog post talking all about it. I'll leave the link below. But it is fantastic and I haven't loved a waterproof mascara like this in a long time. A long time. I don't know, I just find the waterproof versions, or the formula isn't the same as like the normal ones. But this is exactly the same. And I did um, a before and after picture with both of these, with, the, with, no, with no eyelashes, with no mascara, with the waterproof version and the regular version. And you can barely tell the difference. So, freaking love this. Holidays. If you're like the type that wears, do you wear makeup in the pool? No, I have no nail varnish on. This is the colour of life right now. This is Model's own beach bag and it's what part of their tanned collection and it's supposed to help you look tanned. And it works because I had it on when I was bringing Joanne to get her nails done before the wedding. I had this on and she was like, oh, I love the colour of your nails. It makes you look really tanned. And I was like, I know, right? It works. So this is like, you know, a Carl's Peaches, whatever. It's like one of the muted kind of neon shades. And this, do you know what? I haven't repainted my nails like more than twice in a long time and like I have I've worn this about like five or six times it is brilliant it's gorgeous beach bag get it if you can I think it's like it's hard to find because like a lot of people love it love this even though I'm, not, I'm gonna paint my nails with this afterwards maybe if I have time also on the NYX range oh, look at this blush isn't it so cute it's called natural pb07 natural and I have it on now and it's oh it's gorgeous it's just one of those like kind of pinky you can't really see it. It's like a light pinky, ever so slightly peachy blush. And these are great. They're so pigmented. You can apply a thin layer and then build it, which is what I like to do with the blush because you never know how crazy you're going to look. And these blushes are fantastic. I have three in the collection and this is natural. I, do you know what? I really want the apricot one. I want something that's more peachy or apricot-y or, or something like that. So um, NYX blush in natural it's just really nice it's like one of the everyday blushes I've actually been reaching for this over um, my Clinique what's it called with the little um, flower thingy cheek pop and the Tarte Amazonian clay I just I don't know it's so cute and because it's small it's perfect for popping in your makeup bag for everyday use so it's in the shade natural it's lovely 
And finally, I'm going to be doing a blog post on this um, very soon. Oh, sorry, upside down. This is the Smashbox Santi Gold Eyeshadow um, Kit in Earth as we know it. Would you look at it? Now, I know a lot of people see Spider-Man. I kind of see a snake. Do you not see a snake? Like, who's like flat head? But this colour, look at this colour. Would you just, I have it on now. I have it on over these which I'll talk about it uh, um, another time. But, oh, I'm gonna have a blog post on this coming up, but I just, this color is just amazing. And I, do you know what, I'll do it. Would you look at it? Oh. And it's, it's like a brownie, a brownie purpley shade with gold running through it. And if you pack, if you pack it on, the gold shimmer kind of stays there. But if you blend it out, which I kind of did in the crease, and the shimmer goes away but the pigment of like that still stays but it's gorgeous i can't wait to play with this more and look at the navy look and then look at this green this green is insane i love wearing this underneath the eye i tried to do like a smoky eye with the navy and then with the greens underneath and it just looked amazing 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 so um stay tuned for that this is the earth as we know it palette and i have um, a blog post coming up about this too well like lots of blog posts coming up so second last is this look at this necklace i bought this from zara don't you love it oh, I, I saw it the other day no i saw it a couple of weeks ago and i was like do i need this and i was like no i don't need it at all and i just i thought it was amazing i haven't seen a necklace like this in ages it's made me stop in my tracks and say i need it i need to actually need it and so i was in town and then i went home and i was like oh will i won't i will i won't because it was 30 euro which is quite spendy but i knew i had um the Aussie Blog Awards coming up and I have like the L'Oreal Colour Trophy final coming up so I just wanted something bling in that and it's just amazing and I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it but look at it oh isn't that fabulous oh that's so fab mm -hmm. oh, it's heavy but it's really nice I love it and the last favourite of the month won't come as a surprise if you've watched the previous video to this it's the vlog of the Aussie Blog Awards and we won most awesome beauty blog it's very exciting oh i filmed we filmed the whole thing um so i'll leave a link below for the vlog if you can see it all happening and i just oh it's just such a, a crazy crazy night and we'd gone thinking that we were just gonna go and um, have the crack have the chats have a glass of prosecco see who won go home have chinese happy days and then yeah the vlog won the most awesome beauty vlog and then um there were three other categories there was most um awesome fashion blog newcomer and reader's choice and so the panel had to pick one of those blogs out of the four winners to win the most awesome blog like overall and then a trip to australia and we won that as well like it, it feels crazy that i'm even saying this out loud it still hasn't sunk in yet and then people keep saying to me oh when you go to australia and i'm like oh yeah so it's just it's so exciting and thanks to everybody who nominated us for the awards to begin with not in a million years did I think that we were going to win. And thanks so much to her.ie and to the team at Aussie and just to everybody. Like it was just such a good night and it was just so emotional and I was just very overwhelmed by the whole thing because I just wasn't expecting them to say the name, <laughs> to say lovely girly bits. And then when they did, I was just like, it's like everything went in slow-mo. It was just weird and brilliant and... I don't know, I met like loads of new people and I don't know who half them are because literally it was just, everything was just a blur and I was just like, is this real life? I was like David at the dentist, is this real life? I have two hands. It was just crazy. But everybody's tweets and messages and Facebook messages and emails and texts have just, it just been amazing. Like just the support that we've gotten has been great. So yeah, it was just, it's nice to be recognised for the effort that we put into the blog. So thanks. It's a pretty good month, so let's hope July is good. So those are my monthly favourites. If you see anything that you want to review on, let me know. I'll leave all the links below for all the, the um, blog posts that I've done for any of the products that I've mentioned. And yeah, I have a lot. Do you know what? I had to kind of whittle it down. And I, there's already products that um, are going to feature in next month's favourites. Watch this space. I'm very into skincare at the moment. I have like loads of videos now. I just feel like I'm ready. I'm back to do videos cause, because the channel has been a bit like vlog central recently and um, yeah so I just I, I still want to do the week, weekly vlogs they're still good crack but I want to get back into doing into beauty videos and I have lots and lots and lots and lots of ideas so stay tuned and um, yeah thanks so many for watching if you like this video do this by clicking the like button and um, yeah see you next time thanks for watching bye